Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today is my second prom look. This one is a more natural glam. You can totally use these colors or you can use cool tone colors and just use this technique. But this is a really simple, easy tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to see how I got this natural glam look, then just keep watching. To achieve this look, I'm starting off with my eyes. I'm just priming them really quickly with some concealer to conceal my veins. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that concealer. For this entire eye look, I'm using the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. This is because it is still available to buy. The other reason I'm using this palette is because it has a nice half of warm tone shades and then a nice half of cool tone shades. The first thing I'm doing is picking up the shade Tease and I'm just going to go ahead and buff that right into my crease. When you get to the edge of your eyeshadow, just go ahead and start flicking it upwards as if you were drawing a winged eyeliner. Obviously, that's not what we're doing, but just mimic that shape. Now that I have my transition shade laid down, I kind of just want to define my outer corner of my eye. So to do that, I'm picking up the shade Snake Bite, and where I'm going to place it is right here. I'm pretty much just making a V shape, and you're gonna start flicking it out kind of like how we did um, T's. And pretty much what I'm going to do now is just go back into the shade Tease on a smaller, more defined blending brush, and I'm just buffing out that snake bite shade even more. Even more. Using the shade Foxy, I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone. The first shade I'm using on my lid is Half Baked, and I'm just packing that on right in the center. On the outer third of my lid, I'm picking up the shade Chopper and just kind of blending that with Half Baked. For the inner third of my eye, I'm picking up the shade Booty Call, and I'm pretty much just packing that onto the inner third of my eye, and again, blending it in with Half Baked. Taking a quick break here. Now I'm moving on to my face. The first thing you're going to want to do is prime it. Priming your face is a very important if you want your makeup to last all night. Before you do foundation and concealer, you want to do any color correcting that you're going to need to do. So like I mentioned in my last video, I get red for like no reason. So just color correct those areas before you put your foundation on. So now that I look kind of sick, I'm going to go ahead and start with my foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. It's gonna look super tan, but the rest of my body is tan, so don't worry. And if it is too dark, we're gonna highlight and contour anyway, lightly, but it'll fix itself, so. Now that my foundation's done, it's time to highlight slash conceal. I'm just using this one here from Maybelline. Now I'm just setting my concealer really quickly. This is because we don't want this to creep, girl. Now that your concealer is set, you're gonna wanna go ahead and set the rest of your face so you make it last all night. To go back and finish the bottom part of my eyes, I'm picking up the shady tees on just a longer haired pencil brush and I'm just running that pretty much from the middle of my like eyeball lower lash line back.
Okay, now what you're going to want to do is pick up the shade Half Baked on that same um, long haired pencil brush. And I'm taking that from my inner corner highlight to the middle of my eye. So kind of right where I run into the shade Tease and I'm just blending those two together really lightly. And that is all you have to do for the eyeshadow. I'm just moving on to eyeliner now. I'm using a brown eyeliner. I'm going to put a really thin line on the top of my lashes, then I'm tight lining and then I'm also putting this in my waterline. So that's all I'm doing on my eyes because I'm comfortable right now. I'm just going to leave the lashes off because I like how it turned out. So on to the rest of my face, I'm just going to be bronzing. With the same brush, I'm just adding a very light blush of color out of the same palette. I'm using a gold highlight on my cheekbones and my nose and my cupid's bow just to tie in the gold theme that I have going on here. For my lips, I'm going for a pinky nude, so I'm using a pink lip liner. And now I'm just finishing up with a nude gloss. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe it gave you guys a little bit of inspiration for your own prom makeup. If you are going to prom, just make sure you're making good, smart decisions and make sure you have fun. So that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.